Hey everybody, this is Chewy Plays Nintendo, and today we are back with Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I am very excited to get started today because we are going to be going through all of these really cool things that we've built in my town, as well as building some more new stuff. So I don't know if you all have some eagle eyes, but up in the top left corner of my screen behind that tree, you may see there's a new building over there. We're going to check that out. We've just gotten an updated um, museum. And then we also have some villagers who want to move in. So one thing I've been noticing is that I typically like to start my day with getting dressed and getting some a new outfit on. So you'll see that my little character has some new clothes on. I've got this nice Dodo Airlines shirt, my denim pants that I actually came in here wearing, as well as some cool blue sneakers, which are pretty fun. Um, Stephanie, yes, I remember you. Hello. Um, hello, a lot of you. So I am going to get started by showing you this little nook's cranny building that we have here. So here it is, nook's cranny. Let's actually take a look like this, but this is their new little shop. Timmy and Tommy have now moved out of the residential services tent. We now have this little drop-off box which lets you sell things while the store is closed. Or, you know, you can only use the one inside of um, people's, um, in your own town, actually. <laughs> Mind drone, I'm sorry. I'm going to go in there. This is part of the stream here. I will be in there for no more than like three minutes. So it's going to be OK. <laughs> Just uh, come back in three minutes. You won't see too much. <laughs> All right. So here it is. Timmy and Tommy, welcome. <laughs> come in. So they've got some different things here. Um, usually, uh, well, it looks like four items. So what I've noticed is with these items here, they actually let you buy as many of them as you want. There's no limit. But these items in the back here, you can only buy the one item and then it's gone. And then the big thing over in this left corner is the cabinet, which has a bunch of stuff that they used to sell through the menu. It's still kind of through the menu, but just a new little place to access it. So we've got different tools, umbrellas, medicine, party poppers now. And of course, there's a bigger selection of uh, flowers that we can get. Um, still the same cedar saplings and saplings. But yeah, there's um, some added DIY recipes. So this test your DIY skills. This is um, a new one that's added. And then we've got the same flimsy axe, flimsy stuff, kind of the flimsy things and the slingshot. And then finally down here, we've got the vaulting pole recipe as well. So, um, and oh, you know, you can always buy some fruit here in case you run out of some. Oops, I forgot to go to the other menu. Let me go back into here. But somebody asked how I'm finding this game and I'm finding it really great. I'm having a really great time playing it. Um, so here, they actually have four options for wallpaper and four options for flooring. So if you want some cool different wallpapers and floorings for your house, you can find them here in the shop. It's pretty awesome. Um, and sorry, Aelin, I'm not accepting any visitors today. I am. It's going to be a while before I do, so just be on the lookout when we do that. Um, okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and show you. I don't want to show you too much of the museum. I'll just kind of show you the entrance because I do have some bigger things to do. I'm going to try to make some progress during this stream. So here we have the museum. If you noticed yesterday, I had a lot of different things in my island um, that were just waiting to get donated. So I've cleared those out, I've donated them. And so I'll just show you the entrance to the museum. You all can explore it when you uh, take a look around. Um, but yeah, so there's three different exhibits currently. There's the butter, uh, well, not the butterflies, the bugs the fossils and the fish. And then up here you just have some really cute seating areas. It's so big. It looks like a museum in here. It's so grand and everything. Um, yeah, so here's Blathers. Um, one thing that I noticed that's really cool, when you do talk to Blathers, 
He um, lets you now, with the museum, donate more than one thing at a time, which is pretty awesome. But if you ever donate something and want to learn about it, you can always go back here to this tell me about this option. If you bring the thing in question that you want looked at, he will actually tell you about it again. So you can always relive some of those Blathers quotes here. So there it is. All right. Now... Um, so yeah, this is the big museum. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, spoil that for you. It is a little bit in the, tr in the not the treehouse, the direct that came out. And, you know, I'm sure other people have shown it off. Let's actually show you. So this is Billy. Um, I, I've been really liking Billy's company around here. But um, one thing that happened today was I walked out and Billy's house was now big. Oops, wrong button. But here we have Billy's house. We've got this really cute new house style for him. If we check the sign, you can get to see it's Billy's house. I'm going to go over to Agnes's place and see if she's home because it's pretty fun getting to see the inside of the home. So her window is open. I think this is a new indicator when people are home. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love your little flower crown. Thank you. I got it sent to me by my friend. She mailed me a letter with it. But one thing I noticed, I was over at Sergio's earlier today and I saw one of his um, villagers working on the craft bench. And when I talked to her, she actually gave me a DIY recipe. So that's a really cute way to get some recipes. But here is Agnes's little home. It's very cute so far. Oh, you're here again. Stuff will forget something. Let's chat with her really quick. Hey, have you seen your Happy Home Academy results yet? Mine were about what you'd expect. It's really weird having your style picked apart, Snuffle. <laughs> yeah, so I got my happy home designer um, things here. Hey, Verity. Good to see you. Thanks for hopping in. Um, okay, so those are basically the new buildings that I have built here, but we're going on a mission today. Apparently, Tom Nook needs us to start building some other things for some new villagers to come in. So. I'm gonna go through that today. This is the progress we're going to make. I, uh, sorry, Ethan, I'm not visiting any islands or having anybody over this stream. Um, when, when I do, it will be in the title. It will be in the title of my streams when I'm having visitors or, having, uh, or going to people's islands. So you will know when I'm doing that. For this stream, I'm just kinda hanging out. I'm making some progress here. Oh, here's something I didn't know. I guess we can hold a ceremony. Let's try that out. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Chewie? We're celebrating so many different things right now. Truly, this is a wonderful island moment. What ceremony do you want to part uh, take part in? Okay, so we get to do either both of these. So let's actually start with the museum. I definitely want to get that all settled in here. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Um, uh, do you mean the shirt that I'm wearing uh, on stream or the shirt of my character? <laughs> um, this shirt was a gift from Jackie and then the shirt I'm wearing in, on my character I got from Dodo Airlines. So here we are, our first little opening ceremonies. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Haken's brand new museum. There we go. I love their little claps. Thank you. Haken truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop, thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone, really. And now I think we need to hear a few words from Blathers, who will be running our new museum. Blathers, the floor is yours. <laughs> Residents of Haken, once again, I'm Blathers, your humble museum curator. I'm overwhelmed indeed, overjoyed by the marvelous establishment we are opening here today. Ooh, this could not have been done without you and your considerable cooperation. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of species continues to inspire all. It has surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brimming with wonder. I say I do hope you will continue your support of the museum's efforts going forward. Well, there we go. A nice little speech from Blathers. <laughs> Thank you for that rousing speech, Blathers. Now, let's have a few words from someone whose contributions made the museum possible. I'm talking about Chewy, our resident representative. Something to add? We're amazing, of course. 
Yeah! <laughs> there we go. We've donated so many things that this place is now open. Alright, yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Chewy. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to ta take a commem commemorative photo should get ready to press the screenshot button. Yes, well then, with hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Haken's beautiful museum, hooray! <laughs> I'm actually gonna do a little video recording of that. There we go. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Well, there we are, everyone. What a beautiful ceremony. <laughs> do you recommend this game for us and other people? I, of course I do. <laughs> I think this game is really fun. It's, um, you know, it's just like a collectible game. You collect a lot of things. You do a lot of different activities to get even more things. You build your house and town up higher. It's fun. The progress that you make throughout the whole thing is really great. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and do the other ceremony for the Nook's Cranny that was just built in my town as well. So we're going to say we're ready for that one. Let's get it started. <laughs> this game helps with social isolation. I mean, it has been very great. A lot of people are visiting each other these days and getting to see their towns and stuff, so it's pretty great. All right, welcome to our dedication ceremony for Nook's Cranny. I wonder what Timmy and Tommy are gonna say for their speech. That's what I'm most interested in. So he gives us a lot of the same things here. Truly started as a deserted island. It's slowly beginning to develop. Um, oh, I'd like to ask Timmy and Tommy to say a few words. All right, so Timmy, Tommy, if you would, please. Thank you, Haken. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. My brother and I will work hard to make it the best shop, and I hope we can count on your business. <laughs> what a great speech from Timmy and Tommy. Yes, yes, thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions towards seeing Nook's Cranny built. Of course, I mean Chewy, so what am I going to say this time? I'm going to say woo! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Everybody's so happy. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Chewie. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take commemorative photos. Yeah, we know. We got the drill. <laughs> oh, Verity, we're going to have to play together since you have oranges. Uh, <laughs> I'll talk to you a little bit later, Verity. All right. Hooray for Nook's Cranny. Everybody's so cute. <laughs> I love my little villagers. They're great. I think I had some nice starters to start this town with. Agnes and Billy. And I've never had them before, so I'm very happy to have them. Oh, Verity, you're going to give me some trees? Awesome. Yes, we need to play a, li a little bit later. I'm surprised we haven't yet. All right, so now we're going to get into the main goal of this um, stream, which is going to be adding some new buildings here so we have a lot of things that we can build a lot of things that we need to craft so it's going to be a very busy day um what should i do okay about my home i can't expand it yet Let, let's go back i think he's going to give me a little bit of direction here i think he actually gave me something to do before i started the the, the stream so first i have to do the bridge construction thing so there we go are you disappointed with any stuff in the game chewy um i mean thus far no i mean i i do have an inkling that there are going to be some things that aren't in it quite yet but really like you don't need the game to be really complete um unless i guess you're a time traveler until i guess pretty much later on like thus far i'm having pretty full days playing the game um, so there's not much I'm missing right now. All right, so here we here we have the DIY recipe. So this is the bridge construction kit. We're going to be using this in order to craft everything. So it looks like I need some log stakes. And if I go over here, I'm going to actually favorite these really quick, as well as the bridge. That way we can look at this menu. 
and keep focused. So I have enough for two log stakes. I actually want a lot of these, but I should have some more materials in my home that we can use to craft the rest of this. Before I do that though, I am gonna craft a couple of them. One thing I, okay, you know what? Um, Aelin, you just asked me a really good question about something that, dis if there's anything that disappoints me. And now that we're in this screen, I'm gonna show you what disappoints me. Um, for some reason, there's no option to craft multiple things at once. Like I was sitting there crafting a lot of bait the other day and I was just going one at a time and it just took, you know, a lot longer than it should. So I think I would love an update that lets us craft more than one thing at a time. Cause right now I have to do just one log stake at a time. So there's one and then you just have to hit keep crafting. And then there you go, just one after another. Like there's, I wish there was an option to, that said like, how many do you want to craft? I want to craft like two of them because that's what I had the materials for. So now that I have a couple log stakes, I'm going to get some more wood from my house because I have some locked in there. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically one thing that I think they could improve. Also, I bought some turnips today, so you know I'm going to be playing that stock market. Also, I guess here's a little look at my house. I've been updating a, a little bit. I got a nice fancy wallpaper, some colorful floor, and yeah, this place is starting to look really fancy. Also, look at this little <laughs> glove. It's a, it's a seat. A glove that's a seat. And oh, I had to get this little... Uh, this I happened to get this little radiator, and... I think it's adorable. It's just like the ones in my home itself. So we have some old fashioned radiators here, but I finally got some plants getting going on my plant collection. This house is really getting really cute already. And I honestly haven't really tried that hard to do it. Um, okay. Oh, I went into the editor mode. I always click the wrong button. So here is my secret storage. I kind of sort things by type these days, but what I want specifically today is some wood. We need these wood, uh, wood pieces to make some wooden stakes for this bridge that we want to build. <laughs> those shoes on the wall look funny. Okay, I'll tell you more about those shoes a little bit later. Actually, no, I can tell you now while I'm just crafting things, but that outfit that's on the wall is the outfit I wore moving into this island, so I decided to commemorate it for all time by doing that. All right. Oh, uh, Verity, you're always low on normal wood. I was always low on soft wood. And I have a lot of normal wood, but I don't have any soft wood these days. So here we go. We only need these four stakes to craft this bridge that we're going to make. So now, we're, I think we have everything we need. We're going to keep crafting. And there we have the bridge construction kit. Look at how awesome this bridge looks. Also, now that I'm looking at this screen, I do want to ask you all, do we all have triangle grass? Is there no other type of grass in this game? Because it seems kind of strange to take away just like a little tiny detail that existed in previous Animal Crossing games. So I think I think everybody has triangle. I don't I haven't seen a single person who says they have another type of grass, which is a very weird thing to keep out of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft this bridge. I kind of miss circles too, so it's all triangles here. Okay, so I'm all done for now. I've been thinking about where to put this bridge. It's been, so my town is a little strange. There's like not a lot of room to build too many houses and so I don't know quite where to place this bridge. I was thinking here but I also feel like it'd be nice for people to get to the other side of the town over here so I'm thinking maybe this corner is where I'm placing the bridge. Maybe here? Yeah th that's kind of where I'm thinking for the bridge. Just kind of hop across this way you know? Oh, also, here are those flowers that you saw me get in that last stream. Okay, but yeah, let's go ahead. I don't know quite how to place this bridge, so I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna see what happens if we just build here. Okay, so it's a pretty large bridge. It takes up a pretty decent amount of space, but we're gonna need to build it in order to start getting more villagers into our town. Oh, what was the warning here? Build here. To place a bridge, you need the river to be just the right width, and land on either side should be even. Okay, so it seems like the land here is not even enough. We're probably going to have to build right here, right near the ocean. Let's actually see what happens if we speak here. I don't think it's going to... Okay, so here it is. So this is going to get a lot easier, I guess, once we finally have more control over the terrain, but I think we're going to have to stick with the bridge here for now. Um, before I say yes, I am going to pick all of these weeds and, you know, just make sure they don't get just eaten up for nothing. I want to make sure I get all of my crafting materials, as many as possible. Hi Nina! Welcome! Uh, good to see you in the stream. I'm just doing some work here in my Animal Crossing town. So, okay, so I think this should clear out the weeds enough. Let's go ahead and pull out our bridge again. All right, so this is gonna be where our very first bridge to the other side of Haken goes. <laughs> the starter bridge is pretty ugly. I actually don't think so. I think the log is pretty nice. Let me imagine it. Let's, uh, let's look at it. See this, I don't think it's ugly. I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> Oh, I did not get the flower crown recipe. Um, Sarah actually sent me it in the mail, so that was very sweet of her to do. Also, I see, I noticed the lighting in this room is changing a little bit, so I'm gonna update this. So I picked a spot for a bridge. Let the land connect. There we go. All right, so there we have it. Oops, opened something I didn't want to. We now have this bridge and we're all set. Let's go ahead and talk to our good friend, Tom Nook. Let's see what else he'll have us do. I always try to walk in front of my little villagers in case they want to run up to me and tell me something cool. <laughs> all right, here we go. Are you only playing during the stream or are you playing on your own too? Lucy, I am playing on my own as well. I know for New Leaf, I only played during the stream, except for one time. But for this, I am playing on my own. I'm doing, I'm making some progress so you all can see some new things as I, as I log in each time. So did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? I set it up. Splendid, excellent work, thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. So here we are. This is going to be a big project. I have a feeling it's going to be big. We can wait for the bridge construction to finish if you want, or just ask me what should I do whenever. All right, let's do it now. I'm ready to get this going. I want to start seeing what I need to do to get more villagers in here. I already feel like two is just not enough. I need more. <laughs> All right, so the bridge won't be ready until tomorrow, but we've got three housing kits. Okay. From what I've heard, and I, th from what I've heard, I think we have to like actually craft things to inspire these villagers to come. Okay, so then of course these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of furniture required for its house, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so let me just send you the recipes you'll need. Okay, so we're getting a whole lot of new recipes here. Yes, this is exactly what I needed, because if you look at my DIY list right now, I think there's like two things in there that I haven't crafted. But, oh, let's go ahead and get some Nook Miles while we're at it. So, have a nice DIY. We've crafted over 50 things now, so that's pretty nice. I guess I had that one for, sitting there for a little while. Um, but there we go. All right, let's go ahead and look at our new crafting recipes. Oh, I've been wanting this little bed. It's so cute. And the log bench I've been really wanting as well. So I'm going to have to go back into my house, get some more hardwood. I've got some wood and things, but we're going to have to make sure we have enough to craft everything, which I think we do. Oh, an Apple TV. Yes, I am so ready to craft that. Oh, so we need some roses as well. We really do 
need a lot of things to craft all of these houses. We're gonna we're gonna be kept busy today. A lot of iron nuggets. Iron nuggets are very rare. A lot of the stones I found are the hardest to get. So, all right, let's go ahead and get organized. I'm gonna go, let's look into my pocket. So I have some hardwood at home. So let's go ahead and get that. And then from there, we're, I don't think any of the recipes we got needed softwood, which is good because I only have the one. Otherwise, we're going to be digging at trees for, <laughs> or at least axing some trees for a little while. But I think we have a lot of what we need. We will have to collect some apples. So let's go ahead and get some of those on the way. Because the Apple TV needed about 10 and I didn't see oh also I crafted an extra little ladder and put it next to this tree just because I thought it would be really cute and yeah it is really cute all right so we've got some apples around my house those are good to go we'll go ahead and grab those and let's go ahead and pick up some more things here um, okay, so the only fruit I'm actually missing in my town at the moment are pears and oranges. I have a friend who has pears, but I, I think Verity, you have oranges now too. So now I have a friend who has oranges. So it looks like pretty soon I'll be able to get every piece of fruit in my town. Usually I like to have all the fruit in the beginning, but after a while I kind of just get rid of them. All right, so we're gonna move this hardwood to my pockets. I have a feeling we're gonna need some more clay, so I'm just gonna grab that. But let's go ahead and craft as much as what as we can right now. I'm actually gonna favorite some of a lot of these new items that we haven't crafted so we can get them all made for our projects. I probably should have done that first when they're all they were all listed at the top. So let's sort alphabetical order obtained. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and favorite all of these. That way we know exactly what we need to craft and we'll unfavorite them as we finish them up. This is one thing I haven't crafted yet and I really want to because it's adorable, but look at this little beekeeper's hive. I found the recipe for this today and I thought it was adorable. I can't wait to craft that. Um, I don't, okay, I don't need that. So I think these top, top I guess two rows and these two items are the ones that we have to craft. So let's go ahead and craft what we can. I'm gonna unfavorite the stakes and I guess we don't need the, the bridge to show up there anymore, which it doesn't, we're good there. All right, so it looks like we can already craft a lot of things. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's craft. I already need no, more space in my pockets even after the upgrade. I feel you, I am feeling that same Thing. All right, so we're gonna unfavorite things as we craft them. So here's the pitcher. Let's go ahead and do that. Are perfect fruit still in the game? I have not seen them. I don't know if they are. Um, I have not seen a single one thus far, but let's unfavorite this as well, the wooden chair, which is adorable. I really like that chair. At some point, I, I will craft myself one for my own home. All right, we're gonna keep crafting. Like I said, we're making some good progress here. 18! I have exactly what I need. Okay, so it looks like the simple bed is gonna knock us out. We're gonna have to go and look for some other uh, wood materials. Let's see what else we can craft in here before we do that though. All right, so we do have enough for this log bench. What do we need for this wooden bucket? Okay, so we need regular wood. This just needs hardwood and hardwood, so we're good there. That needs a lot of hardwood. I can finally make a wreath. I'm <laughs> so excited about that. All right, so it looks like we can craft about four more things. I think we have enough. So let's do that. Uh, oh, wait, unfavorite. That way we know we've already crafted it. You should craft the tooth for your town, Chewie. Yeah, I, I hope the tooth is in this game. I really hope so, because you know I want the tooth in here. Oh, 15. So a lot of these things are pretty huge items that need a, require a lot of materials to make. You have a lot of softwood. Oh, that's all right. I'm, I, I haven't gone at my trees at all yet today, so I have a lot of materials on my island waiting for me. All right, let's keep crafting. The log dining table was very nice. All right, we have the iron nuggets that we need for this one. All right, I may have to store some of this stuff in my home, but 
I think for now, uh, just because we might run out of space as we're like digging around and getting some more materials, but I think we're good. Let me just double check here. All right, so we have five more items to make. This barrel, we just need regular wood. Apples, we're missing some apples. So we need 10 apples for that, that's a lot. 10 apples for each of these, so 20 apples total and then a bunch of wood for everything. And those need roses, which we should be good on. I have plenty of roses around my island. So hopefully we can get this wreath made. I'd really like one for my own home as well. All right, so I think we're gonna start just at the top of my town. I have a ton of apple trees and um, kind of in this area that have regrown their apples from day one. I knocked them off and so it looks like, I think that was Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like on the third day, they're able to come back. How many, oh, I don't have a lot of pocket space left. So we're gonna have to, yeah, I should go back to my home and put stuff in storage real quick. Oh, there's a lot of apples down here. Let's go ahead and get some of these. <laughs> All right, so usually I like to get the weeds that aren't grown as big as possible, because I really want the weeds to get very large in my town. <laughs> I do know to mash the A button and go a little faster, Jennifer. If you want me to do it, I guess I can. I'll give it a go. <laughs> All right, here we are. I think I need one more apple tree and we should be good. Yeah, we have eight total. So I guess I'm pretty close to my home here. I'm gonna drop this stuff off and it looks like we have this apple tree here. I'll shake it real quick. But we need to drop off some things. I'm actually just gonna drop them off outside. I don't think I need to go inside anymore. So we can just drop things as leaves. They don't take as much room and we'll be pretty good. And is that everything that I'd like to get? Yes, I think we're good there. And now we'll just leave that extra apple. Now let's go up on top of my island. One thing that really scares me though is the, the bees. I don't wanna get stung by the bees, so I'll probably shake all my trees before I actually do this stuff. Let's see, do you think this game is worth the price, Chewy? Aelin, 100%. I think every Animal Crossing game is incredibly generous with the, um, with the content they provide. So, yeah, I think the game is definitely worth the price. Um, there's always tons to do. There's always tons to collect. It's really great. It's a great game. Like, I'm only on day... Uh, what is this? I guess four for me, and I still have so much that I haven't gotten around to doing. All right, so we have one of each flower, so we just need two more of each of them. I have a lot. I already caught that bug, so I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> yes, I have roses in my town, <laughs> funny enough. Oh, okay, so each one takes up a space. That's kind of rough. I was hoping they would stack, but apparently that's not a thing. So I'm gonna focus on getting white and red for this since we need, since we're already out of pocket space and then we'll craft a few more things. Before I jump over there, I'm gonna see if there's a white rose in this little area so we don't have to jump over. There is, all right, we're lucky. <laughs> there we go. You take the flower, not the whole plant, bruh. Oh, are you serious? I've been taking the whole plant. I, okay, this makes a lot more sense. All right, I'm gonna plant everything back then. But thanks for letting me know. <laughs> this makes so much more sense. I was gonna say, I'm gonna lose a lot of, of flowers if I do it this way. <laughs> okay, thanks for saving me some, some effort here. All right, um, actually don't wanna put that there. I wanna put it here. That way I don't lose all of my flowers all at once. This'll be much better for the town. Okay, 
now they're gonna stack. We're gonna do this the right way. Thank you for telling me I can do that instead. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so now I have, I just need a couple yellow roses. I think there's one here. So we're good on roses. Now we just need the wood for some of these. Let's, let's take a look at my DIY recipes. So we need wood. We have the roses we need, we're good there. We have the apples we need. Yeah, so basically we're just going for wood now. <laughs> Here we go. I always start with shaking these trees because I don't wanna deal with the bees. And I have my net out at all times, just in case they pop out on me. I want to catch them and sell them and get them out of my town for sure. <laughs> There we go. I'm making sure this section is all cleared. Oops, and then we can go ahead and chop everything down. Yeah, there are even starter type flowers in this game, so everything grows a lot differently. Oh, see, we're gonna get some soft wood here. Not any of the wood that we actually want, but soft wood will do. Oh, there we go. Now we're get and now we're cooking. <laughs> There's gonna be so much wood to collect in this game. That's the one thing with this game, I don't know if you all have noticed, but like the stones are very hard to come by. They're so, um, because you only have like so many in your town and you really have to go at them properly so you can get as, and like maximize how many stones you get. But the trees are just like an endless supply. You can go at them for all day and barely get what you need. <laughs> all right, we're getting we're getting a few pieces of wood here. Let's go ahead and see how much we're at. So five so far. That's not bad. We can do a little bit better though. So also, I want to try putting down one of these tents. All right. I'm pretty good on stone, Aelin. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> Thanks for being so helpful, by the way. You, you seem so generous with all of your materials and things, but I'm all right. I'm just having fun collecting it all on my own. Oh, great. I should have seen this coming. We're gonna have to register my extra X. I did see this coming. <laughs> I'm way on top of it. Let's actually favorite this as well. Oops. Uh, favorite. Oop. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. Now we have plenty of time on our axe there. Alright, so I have eight pieces of wood. Let's actually figure out how many we needed. So we need five for this, four for this, so that's nine total. And three here, so twelve pieces of wood. We're getting close. I'm gonna jump over to that other side now. Also, I noticed I got some Nook Miles here. Always very, ooh, there we go. Trashed tools. I've broken so many tools. <laughs> I'm sure all of you have broken tons of tools throughout the game, but it's been really, it, I like it personally. I think a lot of people are kind of against the breaking tools and things, but I don't know, I don't mind it. I think it gives us like just stuff to look out for. Um, it makes the islands kind of fun. Like I like the challenge of the islands because um, you really have to come prepared with materials and stuff and make sure you have what you need to collect the resources that you want to get. Oh yeah. I don't, I really don't mind when I get like all sorts of soft wood <laughs> in my town. But I would really like some regular wood. It seems like it's avoiding me at this point. All right, so I think, yeah, we're gonna have to shake these. Make sure we don't get stung by a bee. Those are scary. All right, so far we're so good on these trees. so many resources. 
Um, what are some interesting resources you all have found? The only one that I've really found that's different, I did get like a rusted gear piece or rusted, I forget what it was, but something all rusty. The other interesting crafting piece that I've gotten is a gold nugget. I haven't seen anything that I can craft with it, but it is something that I have. I guess I'm kind of wondering what else there is. Okay, so some people have found some gold nu nuggets. That's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's, uh, I'm, I'm really waiting to find like some more really interesting things. But um, you know, I, d I also don't mind that it hasn't happened yet. All right, I'm just gonna chop these and go. We're gonna pick up what we can. As you can see, the regular wood is avoiding me. There's a couple pieces, luckily. There's a couple more. Yeah, this will make it a little bit faster. That way I know what I've already axed and what I still need to collect. Ooh, softwood. I actually don't mind when I just get a bunch of softwood. <laughs> I really need it. I've been short on that. But I guess now I just really need the regular wood. Does anyone know how to get the flower crown? Um, I do not know the recipe yet, but I think it is a recipe. Um, a friend of mine actually, she got the recipe from a, I think a bottle, like a note in a bottle. So that's where she got it. She actually sent me this flower crown. I woke up and it was in my mail this morning. So I put it on, of course. I think it's adorable. <laughs> okay, so we have tons and tons of wood now. I think we'll have plenty for our projects. Okay, and I think I already chopped those, so let's just focus on getting the wood that we need. I'll come back here later and clean this up a little bit. But for now, I just want to get all of this regular wood, maybe a couple pieces of soft wood. There we go, regular wood. So I think we have enough now. Um, I think we needed 12, correct? So we're at 17, that's perfect. So let's go craft some stuff. Now that we have everything that we need. I'm actually, I'm gonna make a wreath for myself. So I'm gonna go for more flowers as well. I'm gonna make a couple wreaths. So I think I need six of each flower. I have five, I just need two whites and one red and yellow. Oh, perfect, we have everything. Everything we could possibly need on this island. <laughs> you can send stuff to friends in other islands. Yes, once you've played with other people, you can actually send letters uh, and send a little presents to everybody. Is this for the new house? Edwin, it is, I'm, I'm gonna be busy making a new house in a moment, but right now I have to go and travel back and get um, get some things crafted. Let's see, how do you share patterns in this game? I'm actually not sure yet. I don't know how to do that. Um, I don't know if it's something we unlock later or if it's something we can do now, but we have everything we need to build. We're gonna build so many houses. So this is craftable, this is adorable. I'm gonna have to craft one of these for myself later. <laughs> there are a lot of items now that I'm gonna need to craft for me <laughs> to have around my town. All right, so I wanna craft two of these wreaths, so I'm gonna not unfavorite it quite yet. Maybe through Able Sisters. Yeah, that's probably true. So I imagine it'll be a little while before we can share things. We probably have to get Able Sisters. Keep crafting. I'm gonna craft a wreath for my door. I wonder if I can put wreaths on other villagers' doors. I wanna to have to test that out. All right, so we already did that. I forgot to unfavorite it, so I'm gonna do that right now. Unfavorite this TV. <laughs> I love seeing all the things. Oh, all right, I forgot to mash A for you all. That way this goes a little bit quicker. <laughs> I think some people get a little impatient with how this goes, but there. If you match A, it goes a little bit faster. You get a little twitchier. It's pretty fun. All right, and I believe this makes everything. We have now crafted all of the materials that we need. We're all done for now. 
I don't quite know exactly what we do next, but I do know that I have a wreath that I want to hang on my door here. So let's find it. <laughs> Adorable. There we go. A nice little wreath for us to enjoy. So now I think we're just going to be looking for some places for these homes to get settled. So I am I think I have plenty of space over here. Um, we're going to have to destroy some things, but I do feel like I would like to have some villagers be neighbors. So I'm thinking maybe a house here to see what happens. Plot two housing kit. Let's organize these because this is going to be <laughs> annoying. So let's build here. Oh, they need a lot of space around their home in order to plot it down so i don't think i'm gonna have enough room in this area for a whole two whole plots this spot this spot is pretty skinny since the river is here but i think up here we should have enough room oh no the issue is my bamboo oh i'm gonna be really bummed if that gets destroyed we're gonna we're gonna see what kind of room we have here also I don't know if these are cherries that are growing here or peaches, but there's some rare fruit. All right, this just got really harder. <laughs> this got real hard. The checkered outlines can overlap. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. I don't want my bamboo to die. That's what I'm scared about. But I'm gonna clear out some, some of these weeds here. We've gotta make sure I get all my resources and stuff. I should probably chop some of these trees as well and get some of that resource. Okay, so if the if the lines can overlap, I think this might work then. I just have to back up a little bit to make sure the house fits. So I might have to do it here. Here's the thing. Is there going to be enough room? Let's see. The ground isn't stable near these rocks. Okay. Let's see what happens if we do this here. It's too close to the ledge. Uh, it's like Isabel all over again. Too close to the ledge still. They really need some room. All right, so this would fit, but here's the issue. Like, I don't know if anybody else fits at that point. I need to rethink it. So basically, let's let's get my shovel. We're going to plot this out. Oops, wrong button. I'm going to see what lines we're going to have here. We have to make our own little grid once again. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like just past this tree is where the lines need to go. Yeah, so at this point, like, are, is this gonna fit? Let's try it. Let's try this again. I want to make sure I'm in the right spot. I'm very mathematical with all this. <laughs> all right. So this tree is where it ends, and it looks like the house begins at this little corner. So I'm gonna put a little corner marker right there. Now, see, this isn't gonna fit for sure. It's gonna, it's gonna yell at me. It's too close to the water. So it really needs to have more space away from the water. Yeah. I don't think this is going to work for this area. I think we're going to end up destroying our bamboo, but it might fit. It might fit. See, this area is going to be too small for sure. Well, let's find out. All right, so that tree is in danger. I'm going to see if we can actually move it. I can dig up my bamboo and stuff. Yeah, I'm realizing that. So, okay. So I think I'm going to be able to move these trees. That way they don't get destroyed and that. But it looks like this space will work here. So we'll use the bamboo as my little line. 
and that back tree, just that corner of that tree. I need to rethink it for now. Let's make a little hole here. So these lines can overlap, right? Let's see what happens if I pick this little spot. Okay, so I think this little area is going to work. They have, they overlap in the same lines. So let's eat some apples and move some trees because <laughs> I don't want to lose all my trees that I worked so hard to plant. Um, we'll just put my shovel away for now. All right, I didn't know this was going to cause me to keep making grids for things. <laughs> I am glad that they give you a couple different outlines though. All right, I don't know how many apples I'm gonna need to eat, but let's make sure we eat enough. Oh, there's another apple that I left over here. That's good. Oops. I always click the wrong thing here. Do you all do that? Once we have this figured out, I think we're gonna be living it up. All right, apples, where you at? <laughs> Come on out. <laughs> I've already picked way too many. I don't have any other fruit around, so I'm gonna need you to show up, apples. Okay. Ooh, I was a little bit scared that the apples weren't gonna land. Okay, so we have seven apples. That should be enough to move the greenery in this area. Scare that fish away. Stab it. <laughs> Spear fishing. <laughs> all right. Time to move it all. Eat, eat, eat. Can you buy materials? From what I've seen, there's kind of a way that you buy materials. Basically, what you do is... Um, you use your Nook Miles tickets to um, go on some quests. My pockets are full. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's gonna be better. That way I don't just use up my energy and not move my tree at all. <laughs> all right. I'm going to put a little tree here. Medium young tree. Peach. Oh, it tells you what kind of tree it is. I can't plant things in that area. Okay. I'll plant them here then. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I actually want to see if I can plant something like right next to the cliff. Is that possible? Oh, come on. Nintendo, let me plant things right next to Cliffs. That's, I saw it in the trailer. Why are you, why are you letting me down, buddies? Uh, we're supposed to be able to plant anything wherever we want, Nintendo. That's the rules. Oh, that's a big tree. This place is getting crowded, for sure. Oh, actually, I might have to move this one again later. Oh, no. I think I think that's far back enough. All right, so we still have to move the bamboo and some of these. I want to definitely move this little pine tree. So three more fruits, I think. What controller do you play? I use the Pro Controller. Um, I just have always really liked the Pro Controller. Essentially, oh, I'm a little out of focus. Let's get back in focus. There we go. <laughs> but essentially, um, I played Splatoon 2 day one with the Joy-Con, and as soon as I did that, I went and bought a Pro Controller because I was not gonna deal with that my whole life. Um, and I've never regretted it. I've really enjoyed the Pro Controller. Okay, so before I plant these trees back, we're gonna go ahead, oh, let's pick this up. I might not have room. All right, I do have to plant one tree then. 
see, where should it go? I think I'll put it here. There we go. I love how they just pop up all huge. <laughs> Alright, now we should be able to get some homes plotted. No idea where this is gonna where I had to stand for this again. Um Yeah, I think this is where I was before. Alright, should I set this area as plot number one? I think this is where it's gonna be. I mean they've got some weird cliff behind them, it's right against it in a weird way, but I like it. Let's let me let me rethink it real quick. Because there's this hole as an option as well. Looks like Sergio's playing. Alright. Do I like this better? Um, let, let me imagine it. It's such a small little space that it's going to take up. But all of that room that it needs to do this... <laughs> Uh, I am going to put it right next to the cliff. I need to rethink it. I'm going to put it right next to the cliff. I think that'll be a lot more fun. And maybe I'll just l let myself get annoyed with it later. And, you know, this stuff isn't permanent. We're just looking for one little space for them. All right. And I want them to have, like, a little yard, kind of. I want to decorate their yard. And I think a natural little barrier like the cliff and the river is really nice. So let's imagine it real quick. That's perfect. We'll have to do a little bit of landscaping, but we can make this work. Should we go ahead? Let's do it. Plot number one. We are there. <laughs> Finally sticking these houses here. My phone is ringing. What's going on? Hello, that you, Chewy? Yes, yes, this is Tom Nook. How goes your search for housing land? I love that he can call you now. Um, I've got some ideas. Stupendous, I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each, uh, for each home. It'll show the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box, while exterior items should be placed outside around the plot. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we want to make sure, make it look nice and decorative now, hmm? Once we've set up the plots for all three homes and placed the required items, come report back to me. Cool. I'll be waiting in resident services. Thanks again for the help. All right, well, I want them to be neighbors for sure, so. Um, it looks like we lost some of our plant life, so I'm gonna do that. Alright, so I want to have a couple of neighbors here. Let's see how close we can get these. That's pretty close. I think I am happy with that. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna make them overlap a little bit further. I'm gonna go one space over. Ooh. Better get that weed before it gets destroyed. Alright. So, I think, yeah. This is where I want them, for sure. This is exciting! <laughs> Everybody's asking me, I feel like every day I play, somebody asks me some questions. They ask me about the ladder, and now uh, yesterday, and t today it's the flower crown. So I got the flower crown sent to me by a friend. She got it crafted. Okay. I need to rethink it real quick. I'm gonna put a hole right here just to make sure things are okay. Hopefully it doesn't get rid of those holes. Yes, I think we're gonna be good. I love how much difficulty I had just finding space for these homes already. I don't know how many villagers I can have move in, but 
They better take up a little bit less space. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got two plots down. I've got to add one more. My phone is ringing once again. Er, Chewie, it's me again. Sorry for the repeated calls. I forgot to tell you something important. You see, you'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers growing up on the cliffs of the island, so toodle up there if you need to. I've already sent you a recipe for the ladder. It's the ideal tool for when you need to scale those cliffs. Okay, so that's how you get the recipe for the ladder, everyone. I actually did not know, because I bought it at somebody's town. <laughs> Anywho, keep up the good work, hmm? All right, so these two are going to be neighbors here. I think they're gonna have a really nice yard to share between them. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, so let's see what items need to go in construction box number one. To all construction helpers, please submit items for this building following the specified procedures. Let's check interior items. They need an apple chair, juicy apple TV, and a pot. So let's submit items. I don't have the pot, apparently. Juicy apple TV, apple chair. Where, what? Since when do they want a pot? I don't know. I didn't know about this. Let's check the outside items. Please place the following items within the vicinity of this plot. Uh, plot. Hay bed. Oh, I, s I need to make some of these things still. Hay bed, swinging bench, barrel. Ugh. Okay. Stop reading. And, ooh, a present! <laughs> Let's get that really quick. Lee. <laughs> Do you need any sort of material, Chewy? I would love to help. Aelin, I'm all right right now. Don't worry about me. I don't need any materials. <laughs> but thank you for your enthusiasm. All right. Here we go. We have now gotten another present. Mantis head model, cool. All right, so I have a barrel. And I'm gonna need some other things for this place, but let's go ahead and put the barrel over here. This will be really cute. Um, so we need a hay bed, a pot, and I forget what else. Hay bed, pot, oh, and the swinging bench. Okay, so I have a swinging bench in my home. I, I think I'll just use that one and I think I have a pot next to um, my resident services. So let's see what's over here. What do they need? Plot number two to all construction helpers. Here we go. We need to check the interior items. Wooden block stereos and wooden block and the rose wreath. So we need a lot for this place. <laughs> so we need the wooden block stereo and the wooden block something else. Let's take a look again. Oops, I said too many. All right, block table, wooden block table. I kept pressing B too quickly. So stereo and table. Iron garden chair, iron garden table, and the birdhouse. Now that we have a lot of. Um, where do I want to put them, though? Um, oh, now I know where they all are. I dropped them outside of my home. You all are probably yelling at me that I put them there. But, yeah, before we went on this adventure, I dropped them over here. Also, I'm really sad I scared that fish away. It could have been something special. It was pretty big. There we go. So this is all of the stuff that we crafted from earlier. But it seems still like they need things that I didn't craft, right? Log bench, log dining table, iron garden bed, chair. Yeah, we have some of those things. I'm going to drop this. Also, I've been wanting to break classic pitcher, wooden bucket, wooden chair, wooden simple bed. I feel like... This is all stuff that I didn't necessarily need to craft. I just crafted it all. <laughs> okay, so we did get the iron garden table. So let's go ahead and put that here. Check 
check exterior uh, exterior items. So we need the chair and the birdhouse. So I have a birdhouse. I'm gonna have to craft some things. And this, what did we need? Like a hay bed or something? There's so much. All right, let's actually pick the last plot. I think we're just gonna put it down in this little area. So we're gonna have to move some trees once again. Unless, here, let's see. Gotta clear out some space. I think we're gonna put them kind of right here, if this fits. Hey, bed takes weeds. It's a good thing that I'm getting lots of weeds then. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to move down a little bit. Maybe here. Yes, I think this is, this is what I'm liking. So, I'll move these trees really quickly. Let's imagine it real quick. It looks like they removed like everything within that grid, which is a bummer. So I still have some strength in me. Let's go ahead and move some of these trees. Do I have any more room? Can I eat these? No. I should have sold this a while ago. Uh is gonna bug me. I'm gonna drop some things. Let's just place this as an item real quick. All right, where did I drop those apples? Way back at my house, didn't I? Uh... <laughs> this takes a lot of work. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm not bummed about this. <laughs> I really like all the work that it takes to build up your your town and everything. Alright, so now I have some apples. Go ahead and eat one. I'll hold on to this last one. So I think I did have a pot over here, so I'm gonna go and grab it real quick too. So I think this is the pot that they're looking for, right? Let's see. Yeah, it's a pot. We're good. And I have a hay bed down there, but I'll just craft another one because I like the the hay bed that I have. All right. This is amazing. I actually really like all the work that we have to put into this. Oh man, you've got bamboo already? Yes, I do have bamboo. Um, I got it from somebody, uh, somebody gave it to me. I've been visiting lots of islands throughout. All right, check interior items. So we need the pot. Let's submit it. All right, we're good on those. So what are the exterior items that it needs? So we still need the hay bed and the swinging bench. I, I'm gonna craft those. Hay bed, swinging bench. Check interior items. All right, so I need to craft those too, don't I? I don't have anything to turn in. Uh, I need to bring a crafting table with me. All right, the birdhouse, I actually have a birdhouse right outside of my home. So it might be worth doing that. But let's begin. Do I have enough room in my pockets? I do. So let's start by moving this tree real quick. All right, so I think, is this where I decided on for where to build? Let's double check. Pocket space, I really need the next upgrade on pocket space. Okay, I think I like this spot a little bit better. I think this is where I wanted to plant it, right? Yeah, it totally is, because that tree was on the corner last time. Let's imagine it real quickly. All right, I think we're good, let's do it. <laughs> I'm so excited for this house to pop up here. Let's see what they need. Maybe I'll have a little bit more. 
room in my pockets after I submit some of their. So they want the simple bed and the chair and the classic pic pitcher. How many of those things do I have? Ooh, I have all of those. Perfect. So that's those three items. And then what do we need in the exterior? So we need the log dining table, the log bench, and the wooden bucket. This one seems like more complete than the other list of things that they wanted me to craft. I feel like I crafted all of the new stuff, but it really only this one used all of it. So they want the wooden bucket, log bench, dining table, log dining table. So I want to put the wooden bucket, actually it should go over on this side in case they want to get some water. So there's the wooden bucket. Um, I don't know where to put the dining table. Maybe I'll put it here. And the log bench. I don't know if this is going to be too far. I feel like it has to be within this grid, right? So let's, oop, don't want to dig that bench up. Now let's put this right next to the table here. I'm actually going to turn this table. If it'll let me. There we go. So are we good here? Is this is this perfect? Okay, so it still didn't give me a check mark for the log dining table or log bench, so it seems like it has to be a little closer. Um, let's see if that does the trick. And I'm going to move this bucket back a little bit. And out, just a tad. Is it in there? Did we win? Did we win? Haha, <laughs> we've got check marks on everything. Oh, all the interior and exterior items for this home are ready to go. So there we go, we have finished. Finally, one of these homes is complete. So, I do have some bamboo that still needs to get planted back. So let's actually dig a little hole here for that. Okay, so our bamboo is back. We're gonna grow that. We still have some trees in our pockets, but that's all right. Um, we need items. Let's go back to these because I already forgot what we need for them. So we're gonna have to craft uh, some more things. All right, interior, we need the wooden block stereo and the wooden block table. I could have sworn, let me double check. Wooden block table, wooden block stereo. Let's do that. Exterior, what do we need? Birdhouse. Okay, so let's do the wooden block stereo, wooden block table, and birdhouse really quickly. I think I'm just going to grab some of the ones that I already have. The swinging bench I do have right here. So I'm going to grab this. The swinging bench is good. And I have a hay bed down here, but I'm going to craft another one because... No, I, I left my weeds over there. I'm gonna take this hay bed. Never mind. We're taking it. All right. Hay bed is good. Wooden block stereo. That I have in my house, so we're, we're gonna craft another. Let's craft. Okay. Wooden chair. Wooden mini table. Okay. Wooden block stereo and wooden block table are the ones we want specifically, right? Where's the table though? Okay, in order to do this, we need the wooden block toy. Oh, so many things that we need for other things. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, I want people to trade me fruit. Oh, I hope you find some people, P dude. <laughs> All right, so now we have the, the things we need for the stereo. Let's go ahead and get that made. Wooden block stereo. Let's find the wooden block table. I'm not sure which one that is. Wooden block table. Wooden block chair. Wooden mini table is what I see. Oh, here's the wooden block table. Oh, we're going to need a lot of stuff for that. 
Well, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna need some more soft wood, which I think I actually have a nice store of soft wood up on that cliff that I chopped down earlier. So I'm gonna say we're good for now on that. And I'm gonna take, oh, I really like my little birdhouse. I'm sad to see it go to another home, but you know what? It'll be happy in its new home for sure. Hey, Chewie, would you like to come visit my island soon? It won't break the social isolation rule. Yeah, at some point, I'll come. Uh, I'm not planning on playing with too many people today, but I think at some point I would like that. Okay. All the interior items are good here. We just need the swinging bench and the hay bed. All right. So let's put a swinging bench. Let's put a hay bed right next to this spot. There it is. Did it pop up the right way? Yeah. We're gonna be living in comfort and the swinging bench, let's just go ahead and put that right here. Oh. I want it a little bit closer here. All right, let's see if this is good. All right, I think we're all good here. Interior and exterior items are good to go. So this one, what did we need outside again? This one needed the birdhouse, I think. Okay, so yeah, we need the birdhouse there. And we have the wooden block stereo. Okay, I'm gonna wait to submit that just so I make sure I have everything. So we're gonna put the little bird house here. Ooh, I guess I can't push it any closer. I'm gonna put the bird house here then. There we go. All right, so I did chop down some wood here, so I think we should be able to get the soft wood that we need. Oh yeah, we have lots of soft wood. I think we're gonna have all of the supplies we need. Let's take a look. Where is that wooden block table? No, that's the wooden mini table. Okay, so here's the wooden block table. All right, so we're good. We're good on that. Let's go ahead and craft it and then we should be able to finish this up. All right, the stream is going longer than I planned it to for sure, but we're, we're having fun here. We're, make, we're getting all of these plots of land ready to go. I like making it nice and cramped for sure. <laughs> all right, where am I? I honestly don't know where I am. Oh, okay, so I need to go this way. <laughs> All right, I love the clay pot you can make. It reminds me of The Legend of Zelda. It does, I really like it too. I crafted it a bit ago. I didn't know I was gonna be needing it for a person's home. All right, so here we are, wooden block table. Now we can submit everything and then talk to Tom Nook and I think we're done. I think we'll be done for today with all of our efforts. I just got a, a message from my Nook link thing my neck phone but before we do that I'm gonna submit these interior items there we go <laughs> Woo! all the home and furnishing prep work is done I'm gonna save that video that's a big milestone right there for sure all right, so let's go ahead and talk to Tom Nook one last time, see what he has to say to us, and then I think we're gonna be good for the day. We've done a lot today and made a lot of progress, and there's so many new buildings and so many things going on, it's insane. All right, I love stone fruit, like cherries and peaches the most. Yes, I love those fruit. All right, so here we go. Ah, Chewy, hello, hello. Have things been going since, uh, how have things been going since we last spoke? Are you close to finishing the plots and furniture? Everything's finished. Goodness, really? Thank you so much for all your hard work. That means the rest is up to me. I'll get started on home construction right away so we can welcome our new island residents. I vow to get this done quickly and get it done right. 
Why, if all goes well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about folks moving in or out during my island broadcast. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post the info on the sign for that plot. If you're curious, check the signs. And that's that, my friend. You have finished everything I asked of you. Ah, oh, let me give you my token of appreciation as promised. Yes, yes, this is for you. Ooh, it's, it's some fencing. You could surround your home to create a yard or surround some flowers to make a garden. Fencing should make it easier for you to create yards or, park, uh, or parks or other outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes here on Haken. Oh, I'm excited about that. I'm thinking 50 pieces of simple wooden, wooden fencing should give you an excellent start. In the future, I'll offer DIY fencing recipes you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. Oh, so we actually, I'm going to redeem them all. I want all the fences. The selection will change daily and will offer a variety of designs. Check the Nook stop sometime, hmm? Well, I couldn't have done this without you, Chewie, that's for certain. Oh, there we go. I want to see this fencing that we got. Oh, 50 simple wood fencing. I'm excited to play with that. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for tuning into this stream. I know I was a little bit longer today, but we had a lot to get completed and a lot, of, lot to do. Um, it was really fun building up all of those plots of land. I really like that they show up on your map. Let's actually take a look at that real quick. But it's been really fun putting all of these plots of land as you can see we have some new plots showing up on the left side of our town so we're gonna have some new villagers moving in very soon that should be really fun um, and also now we have added Timmy and Tommy's there and the museum has a new look to it so this is Haken thus far it's growing to be a very nice town I'm very excited to see where all of these villagers move into so yeah thank you all so much for tuning in i will i don't know when i'll be streaming next i will you know it'll be posted here on youtube when i do know usually not too far ahead of time usually like i don't know 10 to 30 minutes before i start posting it but thank you all so much for tuning in and i will talk to you all later bye